Hello and welcome to another edition of the Punch Drunk Podcast. I'm Paul Brooks, joined always by Michael What's up? and Joey. How's it going? Uh, today is Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, hopefully we can redeem ourselves from last episode because we all sucked in our picks. Oof. Guys playing tonight, we didn't pick either one of them. So, um, But we're going to go, uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. But we, we, went, we went 0 for 10. Yeah, we sucked. It was yeah, terrible. We all got the picks wrong, and then I, I got the over and under. But I, did we pick with our like brains? Or no, you, like, we just hated the teams. I, yeah, I just picked with the emotions. What happens when you bet? When you bet with emotions, you lose. I know. And now <laughs> we now we got a game of two teams that we despise that are going to play tonight. So yeah, uh, we'll have to do the best of it. Joe, you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, how so, things have gone. So this is start of season two. We took a week break. But now we're back and better than ever. Season one did very well, especially for a podcast that started from no popularity. Like people start podcasts from like when they're like professional athletes or already famous like people. Yeah. So they already get get the views. But we started from nothing, and on TikTok we gained up uh, almost to thirty thousand views in our podcast, and on YouTube we have over fifteen thousand views. For, the, for just the first season of the podcast, which is huge. Ground up. Huge. Usually when, pe- when yeah. people start a podcast, when they have no popularity, they do three episodes. and like, Still that already. Yeah, no, 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 no. They do that, and they stop. They only do three episodes, and they stop, unlike us, who actually keep going. Yeah, we people do that. News. A lot of people start really? podcasts. And I, I, all of the podcasts I see That's from, like, like, a week thing? It, they only do like one or two. And it's from like years ago. And then they stop because oh, why? They suck or are they? they yes, yeah, yeah. they suck. They don't like. They don't. They don't keep care. moving. They keep thought they're going to go viral immediately, and they check. There's like five views. And like, oh, no, everybody thinks it's easy. <laughs> if it was yeah, easy, everybody views. would do it. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a wild ride. So no, we we've done uh, we've done pretty well in season one. Yeah, excellent work. Nice excellent. Well, we yeah. beat these scores. We've had some good guests, and then we're going to have another uh, couple of. Yes, in the very near future, one very big one. We've already uh, locked him in. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the right date. But uh, I will say that uh, uh, a, a Patriots superstar stud, probably the second best lineman. I don't mind telling him that, but the second best offensive lineman in Patriots history will be joining us mm-hmm. in studio, uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, that'll be Logan Mankins. So we hope everybody will tune in then. A lot uh, of this is credit to Joe. I guarantee I'm gonna I'm calling it right now. <clears throat> Hold on, we gotta give all credit right. to Joe because right. this is yeah no we uh, definitely the following and the views he yeah. does all that so yep. he's a little Jane the videos weird. out there. But I do you want to say I guarantee one of the shorts that we're gonna have I don't know whether it's this episode next episode whatever episode but this season we're gonna have we're gonna beat out our old views from last season with one video I can call it one video is gonna do go know, viral. Do you can you share that or no? I don't know what video it's going to be. It's probably going to be an interview with Logan Mankins. I would hope oh, for that. okay. Yeah. But if not, Good. I don't know which video it's going to be, but... Gotcha. One video is going to get blow up the season, I'm calling it. Credit to the genius sitting next to me for the mm-hmm. views and the edits and everything. Yeah, no, that's that's what he does. It's really professional. He does job. it well. He does it well. Stand up. Um, so the last, the last episode, we had the ability to... Um, be able to have our little draft on the sports logos. Um, oh, yeah. And Joey, you have results. I uh, I just gotta pull up the results. Well, first of right all, now. tell us how it who was in the ended up in the finals and how it broke down. Dude, it was a four people. You didn't make it in the finals. Wow. I checked, and I was tied with you. So I went to the YouTube and the comments, and I got it by two more votes than you. And sure. you had good picks, Michael. Sure. You really did. Dude, I'm not. I don't even know. No, I was record. shocked by that one. I would, dude, I was shocked. I thought you won, and I checked on TikTok. It was a tie. Like, what the fuck? Sometimes I love going back and looking at it. It's like these people don't even watch sports. It's like, what, what are you? Doing? Super Bowl Sunday is nothing better than a good Bloody Mary. It really is good. Um, and then, Dad. Yeah. You, or Paul, I should say on the podcast. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Paul, you uh, beat Mike, which is horseshit. Mike, honestly, I thought should have won the draft. He had way better picks, but. I had pretty classic won. ones. So it was me, 
Paul in the finals, 75% to 25%. I got my it was a drumming, and it was me. I got my Rightfully so. I kind of messed up with my uh, Brewers pick, but whatever. <sighs> Let's go on and check some of these votes and comments. You had the, you had the Grizzlies, and what, what else did you have, Joey? The, uh, I had the Bulls. Yeah, the Bulls are solid. That's the Raptors. A good one. That's a really good one. The Raptors and the Grizzlies, right? Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. You know what I think it is? They're fucking goofy, aren't they? I feel like more people who follow the NBA are on TikTok. <laughs> like, really? yeah. Yeah. Well, then I would definitely. I see a lot of NBA yeah. stuff on TikTok. I got me and my whopping two followers. He, you know. Yeah. A lot of my followers are like MMA fighters, though. They're like bo- box fans and stuff. But like the people who probably voted were definitely probably NBA fans. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Well done. Well done. All right. Another super- win. Uh, oh, another win what? for me. It's a lot of wins. What have you had? Two? <sighs> like five. We haven't even done five, have we? No, nah, probably four, I think. <clears throat> okay. You don't count the young you needing. That was a loss. A big L. Sometimes you got to take the L, man. Okay. No, I hear you. Um, so we got the Super Bowl. Um, do you like the game? I mean, it could be interesting. Yeah, it game. Like it's two great Bowl. teams, but yeah. I don't like the teams. But it's two great teams. And I honestly it's, don't. It's, I don't have any animosity over the Eagles. I really don't. I mean, like they beat us. So I feel like a team who beats the Patriots in the Super Bowl, like people end up hating them forever. Like I, I respect it. We went to the Super Bowl. They won. They cheated, but and they got some lucky calls and whatever. Well, that that, play, that whole Philly that special Bowl is illegal. Play, yeah, the Philly special it's illegal. If illegal you look shift. at it and you break it before it begins, as soon as they break the huddle and get out to the line of scrimmage, before that play goes off, I'll challenge anybody to tell me there weren't five guys in the backfield. Yeah, so it's illegal, uh, right. and and nobody called it, nobody saw it. I mean, but like, yeah, they bad, still bad, won. Bad. I mean, they still won the game. So, what do you Whatever. like? <clears throat> What do you like? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'll never bet on the Chiefs. I'll never want them to win. I'll well, wait a minute. No, we, we, even, we, no, we, but even, we, no, I'm saying, even if I think they're good, week. even if I think, even if, if, if well, even if I yeah, think right? they're going to win, <laughs> I'm never going to bet on them. I just hate them so much. I never want to see. But that's not betting with your, I don't know, brain. But I, I still think that Eagles can, that their defense is really good. Okay. They can stifle them. Um, Pat Mahomes, he's kind of been like a dink and dunk kind of quarterback this year. I think there was a stat like he only had one or two, like, I forget the exact stat, but he's basically all of his his passing yards numbers are coming from, you know, yards after catch. I don't disagree with you. I mean, I, I think Philadelphia is going to win strong up front. They get a big offensive line. Their offensive line is amazing. Holy their shit, run game is left, great. Miles Sanders is The left insane. side of their line is, is massive. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just think their run game is really good. Uh, so I do think – I think the Eagles will win. I mean, well, yeah, but we, we all have the Eagles then. You have the Eagles too. Yeah, yeah. Eagles and the over fifty one. Woo! You have the over. Ooh, yeah, I think the Chiefs will be up by like ten, and that's when you're really going to see what Jalen Hurts can do. If, is the Eagles team fraudulent? Like, because they haven't played anyone really that great. Their schedule was the easiest schedule in the NFL this year. The Eagles. I'll be honest with you. Based on so my what numbers, can they do when they go down by ten? Down by uh, you know. I hope it's 13. over too because my numbers in the squares suck. So do mine. So if you get like fives, you got to. So hope last it's time like, I'm doing last time I'm doing squares with the. Uh, it's only good. Well, it's only good if you get if you get fives, or twos or something. It's only good like for the end of the game, but you got to hope that's high score. So like last time I buy to, a square from that guy. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names, well, but you know, I get, I get five and nine. I haven't. You won't had say one that. Good, you won't say that if you win. Five and nine is not gonna win. There's no chance. If it does, it's probably gonna be at the end of the game. Which you get a bigger. Give me a score in which five and nine is going to win. How would that even happen? 35 19. 19? That ain't happening. You don't know. Anything can happen. Look at the numbers. Have, have, we, have we not seen kickers no. miss True. point afters that True. completely sway the, the numbers? True. You never know, but really. Dallas, that, win. that fucking not kicker win. in Dallas, he couldn't even make anything. Yeah, so anything true. can happen with the way the kicking's been going. You're right. Anything can happen. But fives, you're going to look at it like a 25 or a 35, which generally is in that fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. So it could be high school. And it's good for the over. Yeah, it's good for the over. About the only time you ever, ever have a chance of winning. Yeah. Um, 
So we got our picks. Both we all have the Eagles. He yeah, Eagles. but I have the I Eagles in over fifty one. That's my part. I put him in a parlay. All right. I got a couple player props, like Travis Kelsey first touchdown. Okay, yeah, I was going to talk about Miles Sanders. I have Miles uh, Sanders first over touchdown. yards. I have. And then I have him plus no, 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 uh, no. 0.5 in touchdowns. First touchdown of the game for Kelsey or first touchdown that Kansas touchdown City scores? I'm actually touchdown. going to look up those odds right now so we can. Okay. First touchdown of the game is for Travis Kelsey is plus 550 around there, plus 545 around there. So I think he has the best odds for scoring the first touchdown. And then I, it's like plus one fifty for Miles Sanders to score any touchdown. So I have that, and Travis Kelsey, and I got um the over in the Eagles winning. Uh, I had the Eagles and and Sanders in yards too, which is sixty one and a half. So it's a big parlay, but it's super cool. All right, I got Sam heads thirty sixty one rushing yards. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going over on that. What the hell? Yeah. I, I, I'm over. going over on that, too. Um, So I got heads for the coin toss. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, what color Gatorade do you have at the end? I, I, can't, I uh, don't have it on orange. mine. Orange. I have a yellow. But I can't do that on mine, either. Which Kelsey plays on the field more? Do they have that betting on? They have that? It's been a discussion. What the hell? Well, I which, think no matter part? what, you're gonna have Jason Kelsey on and you're of the offense. Not no matter you're not gonna have Travis on no matter what. Some some like formations maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the Chiefs run it, but I would but less of an injury. But exactly. Jason Kelsey will always be out there. Exactly. Yeah. So So you're saying that he gets more plays than Travis Kelsey tonight? If that is the betting legal, well, it's time or is it plays? No, the question is plays. So if, if offense, gonna if be. yeah, well, who's going to control it? And who doesn't get a touchdown quick enough? Like who's a like short? See, even if Kansas that City controls, Kansas City could do that. If Kansas City controls, doesn't always mean Travis Kelsey's on the field. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I was saying. <clears throat> right. So if Philadelphia controls the game offensively, well. Jason Kelsey. They have a good will podcast. The, the Kelsey field. brothers have a podcast. They do. New Heights. Jason, shout out. Jason we know C. you're watching, so shout out to Jason you guys. C. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to have one of them on. No. I mean, that would not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, well you got anything are we to done? Do you have anything to add to that, Michael? You're looking He's up. checking his parlay. Are you placing bets right now or what? Mm-hmm. I was just placing bets. Oh, I was on the phone. Yeah, I had to. All right. Now I'm gonna go Sanders first touchdown of the game. Well, yeah, that's. You mean first touchdown of the game? First touchdown of the game. Oh, of the game. Yeah, yeah. Not, not any time touchdown. Um, I'm just gonna stick with that. It's over 51 Eagles and then Sanders. And over on the rushing yeah, yards. Yeah, it's hard to. Uh, yeah, over on the rushing yards. Over on the rushing yards. It's hard to put first touchdown of the game into a parlay because if you hit you can't, that, I can't. If you hit a first touch, oh, you can't. No. Oh well, because if you hit a first touchdown of the game, you're like, holy shit. But then you somehow always lose like an easy pick, and you're like, Damn. yeah, I wouldn't parlay. That. It's hard to, yeah, it's hard to hit those first touches. Just another pick I have. Do you give a shit about the halftime? Hell no. Nah, last year it was cool. <clears throat> Me and Al have a bet actually at the house. What's Rihanna's first song? It's gonna be. Oh, I can um, guarantee I, I lose because I don't nah. know. Nah, yep. it's gonna be. Uh, well, I can't think of it now, so we'll move on. But. He said, "Run this town tonight." We yeah, gotta, yeah, that's what that was that's good. Not gonna be the first. She's gonna end it with that. It's ten dollar bet. <laughs> I'll bet Joey right now that it's uh, the national anthem goes over. Oh, Chris Stapleton. Stapleton? No, nah, Chris Stapleton's probably gonna rush through it. I mean, everybody's saying over. I haven't heard one person say under. Nah, because he knows he's gonna mix in something like uh, like uh, off the charts singing and stuff like that at the end. Well, if yeah. he if he plays the guitar, <laughs> guitar along with it, the guitar he may kind of strum too, but if he goes just, you know, a cappella, he may just kind of oh. get right through He's it. He's going to have a guitar solo in there. Yeah. Halfway through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the people are like, "Damn it." What do you got for the coin toss? <sighs> the winner of the coin toss has lost it like 18 in the last 20 years. But I mean, that doesn't matter who what's it going to be. Well, probably tails. I go heads. 
Yeah. I'm going tails. He's going heads. I don't give a shit. All right. There we go. $5 bet. Nice. <laughs> All right. XFL teams. XFL's coming right around the corner. A lot of people are hating on it, but a lot of people are liking it. What are we? What are? What are? What are? What are what are our feelings about the XFL? And I haven't really looked into it. I'm confused as to what's the XFL and what's the USFL because there's two. So the two different spring leagues, gotcha. both totally different. There's different leagues. What's the better one? The XFL. Personally, I like the I. Enjoy Who has better talent? The XFL. You sure? As of now, yes. We shall see about that. I don't know, Joey. I don't. Yeah. USFL had some pretty good talent. Had the XFL. Well, they're back, but I mean, I'm saying they had last season. The oh. XFL um, had more guys going to the NFL, a lot more, I think, than the USFL. You know that for a fact. I do know they had more guys, and I'm, and I think it was a lot more. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed some of the USFL games. Yeah, I did too. I loved it. I like the, I love watching spring week football. I just like I'll always watch it. Spring. I don't. And like I love the USFL, but I do think the XFL is more entertaining. I feel well, like it's DC Defenders, better. let's go. He's on DC Defenders. Great team. Great helmets. Yeah. Great color scheme. The red and white. Tell me the Roughnecks got a good uniform. The Roughnecks is rated the best uniform in the league. Well, that's what I got. What do you mean? You're a Roughnecks fan? Yeah. I thought you were Battlehawks. Yeah, you were Battlehawks. Battlehawks? You were Battlehawks. St. Louis? Yeah, yeah, you were Battlehawks through and through. Yeah. You were, <laughs> yeah, you were with bro. Jordan Tiamu. Remember? Yeah, yeah I know, but, I, but he's gone, right? He's gone. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I can change teams. Houston Roughnecks? Yeah. All right, let's go. Houston Roughnecks. Why? Who do you like? Houston Roughnecks. Oh. I've right. been a Houston oh. Roughnecks fan for years. Well, you can't have huh. the Seattle Dragons. You guys are the ones who yelled at me. When I wanted to go over to and be... Uh, yeah, oh no! Right. I changed DC Defenders. I'm not, I'm, you I'm, always DC Defenders, yeah. You're yeah. Didn't I go USFL. To Vegas yeah. I moved Mike to like that, and Mike likes. It. No, I did. Yeah, Mike, but now Mike likes the right Vipers. I said it in our group chat. That was me. Yeah, you you like the Houston Gamblers. Yeah, that's USFL. USFL, yeah. It, the you can't cheer for a team like the Seattle, I always Seattle for Houston Sea Dragons. Team. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know, but that, the Renegades they're coming back from. Last XFL season. That when does it start? February 18th. Nice. And, so we'll, and by, we'll start making some parlays for that. San today. Antonio Brahmas. What's a, a Brahma? A, bull? a Brahma is a that bull a, from a bull, right? like a certain, I forget what country, but it's supposed to be a bull from. Like Latin America or something? We should probably Maybe. look that up. <laughs> Maybe. At least we knew it was a bull. And Orlando Guardians. They're coming. Well, the Guardians yes. are coming back, but yeah, they used to be from New York. Now they're from Orlando. All right, so way better colors. I, I got the, the Roughnecks. I got the rough. Orlando necks. Guardians have uh, Andrew Jamil, Stonehill grad. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he's actually nasty. He was the first wide receiver picked for them. So nice. I wish the Roughnecks got him. Roughnecks that's, got that's, Nick Holly. That's, that's two Stonehill wide receivers that are playing at the next level. One's playing a little higher over in NFL Europe. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I hope I hope Jimmy gets good. his uh, a little small his shot. shot at the Stonehill football. Yeah. Um, okay, let's move right into another sport. UFC. We all watch the UFC. There's a big fight last night. First, um, I thought the Talk undercard, I, the whole card, I think, kind of sucked. First of all, it wasn't that card was built on freaking dollars. Yeah, that card was built on a lot of people who. Who a lot of fans don't know who they are, but they all had good records. They all, every single person who fought on that card had a good record last night. Well, I like the so way they it did was it. really for people to really step up and show what they had That's yeah. true. to go into the next you know level. Some people were fighting to get into the rankings and stuff like that. A lot of the people were thirteen and four, or ten and two, and eleven and f- five. Like a lot of people had winning records, so they were trying to prove themselves that they need they wanted to be ranked and get into the top ten and stuff like that. It was but kind of one of those cards. Dana White deserves not a, worth eighty dollars. No, Dana White deserves oh. kicking the balls for that. Yeah, definitely wasn't because there have been much better cards for the same amount of money. Right. There's no reason oh, to not have dropped that. There have been much that. better free cards. Right, but there's not they should have at least dropped that. Yeah. I can understand a little pay-per-view action, but they should have at least dropped it, maybe cut it in half. But to them, they get that greedy and charge almost 80 bucks for that? Yeah. No way. Yeah, they had Paul Acosta versus... No uh, way. I forget the guy's name, but... And then they took that off, and I was like, dude, this better be free. But What did you think, of, this, make what did the you think of the fight last night? What did you think of the scoring? Volkanovski versus, Um, uh, I think it, there's... Makachev. There's a way to see that... um. 
it could have been three two for Islam because if he won the fourth round, but I don't think he won the fourth round. So then I think it's three two Volk. But whoever had four to one is just Cleary on crack or something. Derek yeah, Cleary, Derek he's, Cleary he's, he's on was, crack. I, I, had, I had I had Islam winning the fourth, but I had a two three and five. Going to Volk. Two, three, and five, yeah. I mean, two, three, and yeah, five. Yeah, I had two, three, and five, five definitely. as well. I mean, he, I, thought he, yeah. I thought it was going to come down to the fifth round. <clears throat> and it I did. did and I and did Volk beat his ass. Which is okay, because right after we said 48, 47, could have gone either way, but, uh, you know, almost thought maybe, maybe we got a split here. Yeah, another thing, this it happened again in the UFC, where they have, so... I had it two, three, and five Volk. Volk, yeah. Did yeah. you have it three, four, and five Volk? No. All right. And then, but well, some people had it one, three, and five. No, because that Volk. fourth round. Um, but they were close. Ready? Yeah. Another thing that happened: Islam Mak- Islam Makachev had three to eight, one really realistically won three to two. Most judges had that, but the three he won were wicked close. They were extremely close fights. Yeah. Or rounds, and then the rounds that Volk won were were, were, were an ass kicking. I, I believe. Like at the end of the it second was, round, he was throwing him. He was throwing Islam around like a rag doll. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He he landed a trip. Like he threw him around. So if there are no rounds in just a straight up fight, I'd think Volk, Volk won because he he kicked ass in the rounds he did win. But the rounds he lost were so razor thin. <laughs> even even in way. the third round, I think it was either third. I think was it the third round when he had the body triangle sunk in. And he didn't even throw one punch. Volk landed fourth. more. Yeah. On, that was fourth. It was boring. Yeah, it was the fourth Vol- round. Was it the fourth? Yeah. Volk was in a body triangle for like three minutes yeah. and landed more punches. Exactly. And half the time talking to the ref, talking to the, the And he was the throwing more laughing. punches. That's when he, I think, no, I think it was the third round really? because that's when Volk started talking shit. I was like, stand up. Let's fight. Like, I'm yeah, landing yeah, more yeah, shots yeah. than you. And he uh, landed yeah. way more shots than Islam did. And Islam just held him in a body triangle. That's why I don't get like what kind of fighting is that? And people will comment or something and say eh, it's grappling. It's gra-. yeah, no shit. I'm not like no fucking shit. Well, let's put this <laughs> that's way. part of that. But that's part of it. I know, but it's you're also supposed to be active on the ground. Why do you think fights do get stood up? Don't tell me a body triangle. Don't don't sit here and be a fight fan and then tell me sitting in a body triangle without do, putting in any more work is is acceptable. What kind of fighting is that? It's it's bullshit. How about if you get a takedown? Oh, it's wrestling. You know, yeah, yeah. If okay. you get a takedown, it's a point considered a point towards you, right? In the scoring. What about if if you got somebody like Islam who was uh, who's a grappler? He takes you down, you get right out of it. Volk got out of him well, a few times. That is well. I mean, he should be credited for that too, the same way. Are you saying just because it's Makachev? Because well, that's kind of like changing the rules. But no, no, I, there I, is a rule where you are supposed to, if you do defend a takedown. It helps in favor of you. There's a defending. scoring rule. Uh, yeah. So if you get taken it, it down, if you get taken down, you know that's going to him for the takedown. If it, that guy gets out and worms right out of it immediately, yeah, then it hurts. It hurts hurt. you. All right. I don't know whether it helps the other guy or it hurts you. Well, you ground control, it. but a missed takedown. Ground a control missed takedown helps you. I'm look talking good. about like Volkanovski had no problem. <laughs> apparently, no problem at all grappling. With Islam last no, night. No, he did in the second round. A couple round. times. Yeah, but that's... Also, I'm talking about a five-round fight. Right. All right, he went down a few times. Oh, he never panicked. Like, like I said, in the third yeah, round, he was he fine was being in a body... He was very methodical in his defense yeah. against to get out. He was perfectly fine, did not panic with being Doesn't in a body Doesn't seem like triangle. he got any credit he for it. He landed more shots in a body triangle. But he didn't get any more... He didn't get any credit for it. No. Oh, because he decided, <laughs> decides to just hold a body triangle. Not one... He barely threw punches. I and I think at least you, at least judging, Khabib at least Khabib will do that, but he also smashes people and, and will ground yeah. and pound. Yeah, I, I thought it was fairly questionable on the calls, but also takedowns shouldn't be worth as much as they are in the UFC. People see takedowns Smash. and they're like, "Wow, they won the fight because of that!" Like it's a takedown. Yeah, it was great, but I it's, know the it's scoring in as, MMA needs to be looked at. Also, I, Menefield, Alonzo Menefield versus Crew. <laughs> Menefield won that fight if it wasn't for holding the fence. That's well, wild. Field, it was the right Stinks. call. Yeah, it was a perfect, great call. Because if he didn't, here's the thing, though. If he didn't hold the fence, he was getting slimmed on his fucking head. Right. He would have been taking, yeah. Absolutely. So, so either way, he would have still, he might have lost if he got that, if he got thrown You down. never know what would have happened yeah, if he that didn't have been, it, but That might have been a good round, move by him. He did lose that round anyways. Right. So if he lost the round, I would have just taken the but lost could, round. Then yeah. it goes into the optics of the judges in their eyes. If that's a dominant round. 
Mm. Then it's it different. Been 10, eight, but then it would have been the same thing. It would have been a draw. I think that was Mark Goddard, right? So if yeah, he, he was rough. Yeah, it was Mark Goddard. So if he didn't yeah, hold, the, right. hold the fence, a, a point away for holding the fence... I feel like that's crazy around what happens, the fight. Yeah, but what happens if he gets slammed on his head and then gets knocked TKO'd on the ground? So it could have been a good call by him to grab it. Or, yeah, to take a point away, but I don't know. That was... Boom. Jimmy Crute's a beast. From coming back <laughs> off of... Uh, yeah. He's only 26, too. Dude, so he, Menifield, what are you doing? It was a night of getting kicked doing? in the balls. I know that. What Holy was Menifield crap. doing? He was one of those wasn't even nothing. a ball shot, though. It was, it, it was in the lowest stomach. It seemed like it was, fight it, it was like four or five fights in a row yeah. where they had multiple stoppages because the guys got kicked in the nuts. Mm. The hell of a night. So that happens. I don't get why they don't take the five minutes. Take the five minutes. You got kicked in the balls. It's, they only take like one minute off, dude. If I got kicked in the balls, they're like, no, nah, fuck you. I'm catching my breath. I'm sitting here. Absolutely. Take, taking my time to recover. Um, hey, we got we got McGregor and Chandler uh, coming up. Was it in the summertime, August or something? Like August, that? August, August. So yeah, should be there. Do you think? I have questions. Do you think the fights are going to happen? Is it really going to happen? I don't know. I know the ultimate fight is going to happen because they've already right. have tried. So yeah. The show will happen yeah. now. The fights. McGregor has to go back into the testing pool at least <clears throat> I f- six months before the fight. Yeah. So he's got to get. And he's got to. And he's got to cut thirty. What is he cutting for weight now? I mean, he's probably, yeah, to get, probably to, to, get to that, he's got to be about thirty pounds. It's proud, yeah. He's they're fighting Maybe a one. More. Fi- they're fighting a no. one fifty-five. No. Are they? Yeah. Well, oh, coach said last night it was one seventy. I don't think Chandler wants to go to one fifty-five. Well, what does coach have inside scoop? <laughs> no, I just think that's what he was saying. <laughs> I heard like we, were, we were talking we were discussing last night. I heard it was lightweight unless they changed it because I, 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 I know both going to I know hundred I know hundred percent it was originally lightweight from what I heard, but if they changed it, then yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not absolutely 100 percent certain the fight will happen, but if it does, it won't happen. If it does, I kind of know who you're gonna go for, but who are you gonna go for? Yeah, McGregor. What round? Uh, I don't know, probably second. Chandler gets hit very early, so if if he gets hit with those bombs, it could be the first. If that's how McGregor's gonna win. If it goes later, then hmm, it's not good. Uh, I think yeah, I'm scared that Chandler. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to hurt him. So Chandler gets rocked in his fights. Like watch Chandler fight. He's tough. Gets rocked. He will be wobbly as fuck, and you won't even. You'll be like, he's he's getting knocked out, but he still comes back, and then he'll do some crazy shit. You just gotta finish him. You got when he's wobbly, you gotta finish him, and he gets. So it could be a first round knockout. Also, I do want to say, Dad, you are right that he does have to cut a lot of weight. It's more than 30. It's 40 pounds, and the fight is at 170. So he's probably at 210 right now. He's not 210. That's what it says. He has I, I wouldn't says, doubt it. I, but I would, has no, to cut not. more than 40 pounds. The recent, the what recent article first is that? Fight. I, I will guarantee you he's 190 still. It's a 20-pound cut. He's still 190. The U.S. Sun. Sports, no, I think you're wrong. Sports Kia, Don't. Marsa. It's a couple things they're saying that. Yeah, that's he's not 210 pounds. I'm telling you, he's not. I would not be. Look surprised. Look at the guys who are 210 I mean, muscles, who cut five pounds. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised because he is. Jacked. We're gonna have to cut this out, dude. He's not 210 pounds. I'm telling you, he's not 210. But you don't know pounds. that. You're just saying that. You don't know. Do you know how big 210 pounds of pure muscle is? That's huge, dude. That's he's not. He's like 190. I'm telling you, and 190 is huge for no. pure muscle. Well, you don't know, so we'll go with what other people are saying right now. Oh, oh my gosh, Sun- Conor McGregor claims he's 265 pounds. Yeah, like <laughs> well, that's, he's just lying he's, there. I'm telling you right now, he's there's lying. no way I would never. Even if he tells <clears throat> he's 210, he's not 210. Um, there's no way. You know, Michael Chandler is bigger than him. If you stood Michael Chandler and Conor McGregor next to each other, Michael Chandler looks bigger, and he doesn't walk at 210. Michael Chandler's fucking jacked. I'm not sure even if the fight goes off. Conor McGregor revealed his exact weight in a recent tweet where, tweet where a fan speculated Conor McGregor's weight to be somewhere 200 and 220. I don't know. Yeah, and you don't think Conor uh, McGregor's going to say that he weighs 220 pounds? Of course he is. He's 190, 195 pounds. 265, he said. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's 190, 195. He's lying on that, but that's all right. Well, we'll we'll find out. We'll find out if that's going to happen, but we that'll probably be an exciting summertime. Out, yeah. He just posted a couple pictures the other day, and he—he's like I said, he's—he looks like he's already smaller. Tony, he's not two hundred and ten pounds of muscle. 
Yeah, never trust the internet. Look at yeah. Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler, like I said, Michael Chandler looks bigger. Never trust the, the internet. Better. Never trust a photo. Anything can happen. <laughs> Photoshop. We know that. All right. Weird questions from Paul. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not even questions. Hey, no, I, I gotta hurry up. Here is a question. Run out of time. No, we're not. You don't control that. We do. <laughs> well, you just yeah. sit there and answer. Run out of my time. Here we go. Uh, will there be another sport invented? Absolutely. Yes, but not a top sport. Sports are getting invented all the time, I think. Yeah. But I saw yeah. one on Shark Tank the other day or something. What what sports, do you think? Yes, if there's another sport the that can be invented, think of everything. If there's another sport that can be invented, what would it be? Something on a field. Something like a beach game almost, like a game <clears> that's <throat> going to blow up to be a sport. Yeah, the, like I saw someone on Shark Tank. Um, it was uh, fling golf. Yeah, it's, it's some like courses. It's basically thing. lacrosse on, on a golf course, and instead of hitting it with a club, you take the ball and you fling it. And they put it on a Shark Tank, and they got a deal. <laughs> on a field. So stupid. Yes, I don't know, on a course. And there's like... So you're mixing golf and Frisbee golf? And yeah, no, 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 it's... It's a little stick, like a lacrosse stick. You get the ball and you fling it. I'm not talking about an activity <laughs> or a fucking hobby. I'm talking about like a legitimate like a major sport. sport. No, no, never a major sport. But I feel like major, people are going like to sport. sport. They, yeah, they're going to leagues, conferences, and yes, people are going <clears> to <throat> mix. I mean, that's two sports. Goal. People are going to mix two sports and get one sport. That's how all the sports are getting created nowadays. Mixing two sports together, like ice cross. Like I never would have thought there would have been like Cross computer on ice. game sports, and that's esports. You mean esports? It's not yeah, a fucking sport. Is They're definitely they have 100%. college teams. Is it a real sport though? There's college teams. College yeah. teams. Yeah. Is it a real sport? Yeah, that's another question. Yes, I do think it's a real sport. Sport? No. <laughs> it's a computer thing. It's it's. <clears throat> I think it can definitely be like a job and everything like that. People make money off doing it. Yeah, but I don't think it's a sport. Sport has activity. That's not activity. I mean, I guess it is, but it's not. You're not I think active. It is. I think it is a sport. I don't know. So you guys really don't know if there's going to be another sport invented. It is. That, that, we said the other. We said yes. <laughs> it's not a major. Like in a one. fucking lacrosse ball. That's a sport. Yeah. Kind of sounds like an expansion of lacrosse and golf. Okay, it so is. it's still a sport. So is a lot of sports. Now. Shit question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, who's the, what's the smartest animal? I think a uh, well human. Yeah, human. but I I know a lot of apes are smart. Monkey, yeah. Ape. Uh, dolphins are very smart. Elephants are smart. I'm gonna go with monkey. Or apes, not. yeah. Do, have, I've seen, there's a video. I'm gonna show it right on the screen. Chimp. There's a video or of whatever. A chimp, or, yeah. Oh, I don't, so I don't know the, the difference. I don't know the difference. <laughs> not to be, you know, rude or anything. They could like drive a car, dude. They can like they could do shit like that. If you there train one to drive a car, it will drive a monkey. Car. Yeah, if you train yeah. a monkey or a chimp to drive a car, I guarantee you they could do it. Did the monkey the go to the fucking moon or something? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a monkey. I think it did. It die? Go wow, that's moon? sad. <laughs> oh, that would be <laughs> awful. What the hell would you say that? <laughs> could have died, but no. There's a video. Tried. There's a video. I'll put it on the screen of a monkey. It had it showed a flash <laughs> of numbers for uh, with a second, and the it was picking from one to ten or ten to one like this. Yeah, I mean, there from are some memory, monkeys and chimps who are smarter from than one humans. Second. Do you think humans evolved from monkeys? Yes. Yeah. Then why are there still monkeys? They just didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wondered that too. I remember thinking, you know, <laughs> someone in the comments is going to be like, well, give us a real answer. And be like, oh, well, yeah, they just sense. didn't make the cut. Probably they weren't scientific. I've been thinking about that. Nah, there is probably a reason for that, that yeah, humans evolved in a certain area right. of the world. Yeah. And they, the monkeys didn't. Do, right. I don't know. That sucks. Due to a certain reason. But yeah, evolution's always happening. Too bad for them. The way we act, the way we talk, everything's from evolu evolution. So you guys are boxers. Have you ever mm -hmm. punched yourself, right? Yep. Before every fight, I do this. Nah, I used to just do it as a kid and see how bad uh, I could do it till it hurt. Does that Very make fucking you, weird. Does it hurt? Ready? No. Uh, if you do it multiple times in the same spot, I've realized, yes. If you punch yourself in the face... Does that make you weak or strong? That was my question. No. And it hurts. I was leading up to it. So if, you as if you punch yourself so hard, it hurts. Does, does that make you up. weak or strong? That's a good lead up. Thank you. I'm not sure. I think it uh, depends on how much damage you've already taken. Because when I was younger, I could do it a lot more. If I punch myself once in, in the head, like I get a headache and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So, so does that make you so weak? I hit myself in the jaw. And, but does that make you strong? Yeah, or, I'm a beast. Or weak. I'm not a shanger, dude. I'm a beast. <clears throat> but 
But I just have a lot of power. But you can't take it. No one can. But you can't take it, so does that make you weak? Oh, it makes me strong because I'm throwing it. I knocked myself out. It's another KO on my belt. <laughs> Joe, you gotta cut that. <laughs> can't be using that language. All right, I cut that out. Edit. Yeah, that's my answer. No. Yeah, it makes you a dumbass. <laughs> you fucking idiot then. That's what it makes you. It makes you a fucking idiot for punching yourself in the face. But I do punch myself but in the face before fights. that's not the question. Fights. You answered, if yeah, you do hypothetically, yourself, you're a fucking moron of punching yourself. Depends on how hard you hit yourself. <clears throat> if you hit yourself very hard and it hurts, no yep. shit, it's going to hurt. But if you just go like this and it hurts, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a bitch. Agreed. So, if you punch, question. It's going to hurt if you punch yourself. But yeah, at full force, it's going to hurt. Depends no on how hard you do it. But it doesn't mean you're tough because it's a punch no matter what happens. Yeah, it still makes you a dumbass. Yeah. Well, all right. No matter what, you're not going to be tough. But you could be weak. If you throw a blistering shot, you could be tough as a puncher, hard puncher. No? No, because then you can't take it. What are we talking about? Next question. Yeah. There is no more. I just want to find out. Well, it was two questions. Dude, you gotta do better than that. No, What's that for? Because I wanted to get to the next the next What's episode. That for? The next episode. We're already the at next episode. the next segment. Yeah, let's get to the next segment. We're already at thirty six. Right. Uh, but oh, I boy. expect better next time. Well, if somebody get out of bed and fucking decided to give us this, so list. you had more questions. When did you get the list? I gave you last night for the questions. I told you. Yeah, I told I you. To bed. All right. And what were Should've you thinking? Up. At two in the morning. What were you doing at two in the morning? We just got through watching the fight. Yeah, yeah I, knew, I knew. I knew. I just asked him that. I knew exactly. All right, let's move on. <sighs> All right, the next segment. It's since not a draft. Since we're in nope. uh, the Super Bowl football mentality. By the way, before we get into this, gonna get heated. I do have to ask this. What's your go-to Super Bowl food? Football food or Super Bowl food? Uh... You wouldn't share it? You wouldn't use the football food? No, you can, but, like, you have to have... It's like What's your Super Bowl food? Hogwash barbecue. Or something, I mean, something you have to have on the Super for me is, like, pigs in a blanket. I think that's, like, a staple. It's, like, for, a, just a, a good appetizer. Yeah, because you're not going to make those every Sunday, right? Mm. But you'll have them for... It's a good app to have on the Super Bowl. We've got those in the house today. Is that your go-to? <laughs> There's a lot more go-tos than just a pig in a blanket, isn't there? Uh, wings. I think wings. Yeah. You need wings. You need wings. You're not gonna make wings every every week, but do you not think that everybody? At, uh, I mean, need wings. How many trays of nachos do you think will be served at people's homes? Do you think no. people are gonna have nachos, chips, salsa? Or not as much as pizza. Um, every part. Buff chi- you think pizza bu- is a big thing. No, a football. Chicken dip. Uh, yeah, see, pizza's not a big thing. Pizza's not a pizza's football. A big thing no, okay. buffalo I chicken. Speak. I want to speak. Pizza's not a football food, really. But if Super Bowl parties, everybody orders pizza. Everybody's like, yeah, let's order a, a boxes of pizza. Yeah, I mean. That's because they run out of the fucking food that they already ate. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so pizza's still That's there. That's not the go-to. Everybody gets pizza, though. What is the go-to? Well, mine's pizza because I'll always eat pizza, and I'll always eat pizza on Super Bowl. You I like would pizza, say. Do you like pizza square or round? Round, but I don't mind it square. Depends on where it comes from, square. I don't mind it square, but I do like a round pizza. Deep dish or thin? Thin. thin, not even close. Pineapples are allowed or no? No, I'm not even gonna answer that. <laughs> no, you don't I like that. The answer. Well, fucking Hawaiian pizza. All right. Well, well, we're on football. We have our picks, <clears throat> and uh, this is not a draft. This is just our version of the top five quarterbacks. Quarterbacks? I thought it was N- cornerbacks. NFL. <laughs> NFL. <laughs> doing corners. NFL. Yeah. Again. Revis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, top five quarterbacks of all time in the NFL. That was a good joke. Right? It is that not. I could have missed, but it was a good one. Oh, NCAA. Uh, yeah. So, NFL quarterbacks. So I'll go first because I know you guys will probably shit on it. This so. is going to get heated. I know it. Back in my right. day, Jimmy <laughs> <because> Joe O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Joe O'Brien. He got the first, it wasn't the Super Bowl back then, but it was the uh, <laughs> Professional Football Championship, and he was the MVP. Threw for four touchdowns and 500 yards that game. Are you done? No, I am. Let's hear your list. Okay. Well, because there's also... Jimmy Joe O'Brien. Did somebody have like six or seven or eight? Like, do you have a couple like... I have, a, I have six, 
Six being the honorable mention. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Here's my five, and then I had a couple. No, we're gonna each do our five, and then we'll add in our honorable mentions. Okay, number five for me, Johnny Hi, Unitas. Toby. Johnny Unitas, number five. What did I say? He starts off with an old guy. Number four, Joe Namath. Number. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Namath, Joe Namath in the top five. Over Johnny God. Unitas, too. I think you guys need to yeah, watch. Yeah, over Johnny Unitas. <laughs> I think you guys need to watch more and more. I think you need to give us a really good next three. Yeah, because Joe Namath. Next, next three. Number three, Joe Montana. Mm -hmm. Number two, Peyton Manning. Obviously, number one is the GOAT, Tom Brady. <laughs> That's. I mean, those are all top ten guys, but... Fucking right there. You have, really? you have. What was your? Who was your fourth? Joe Namath. Joe Namath over Brett Favre and John Elway is insane. Yeah, so they play insane. I, they play, I mean, you can say that. Oh my God, they got him over Dan Marino, but they're playing at different times, and that's the problem. These some of these guys now would Ted, never have lasted as long. Brett Favre as they have was an NFL MVP in 90, 95, 96, 97. Joe. Go check. A three-peated NFL MVP. Go check Joe Namath Joe wasn't. Go check Joe Namath. Look at his stats and look what he's done. And look what he played. 71,000 passing yards. 500. I, no, yeah, but you're going on statistics, okay? Now, this is what I need you to understand. It's what else am I supposed to go by? No, it's not all about statistics. Because they played, jeans? <laughs> they played different times. They played on different surfaces. Fire played indoors for a lot of his career. Joe after, Namath, his after. what's his playoff? Hold on, hold what's on. his playoff record? It's two and one. It's two and one. <laughs> he was three, three games. Three they games in the playoffs. At different <laughs> times. He still went to the playoffs three times. Dead. Joe Namath is out. Pick. Hey, that's like that's about as Dead. bad as saying. Joe, oh my Dan gosh. Marino. Dead. That's like saying Dan Marino should not even be listed. Yeah, the but top Dan Marino's numbers and Dan are. Dan Marino never won his, a Super Bowl. Yeah, but his right, numbers fine, are way way up. Fine. There. Joe Namath, his touchdown to interception ratio, touchdowns, 173, interceptions, 220. I, I would have thought. I would have <laughs> thought. Joe Namath top 10, dude. He sucks. I would have thought, I would have thought, you know, either Roger Starbuck. He has Brett more Favre, picks than touchdowns. <laughs> John Elway. Joe Namath has more picks than touchdowns. Get him off the list. He sucks. Oh. My. More picks and touchdowns than you have in top five? What are his Um, not much. Nah, he, Dad, he only has 27,000 yards. Just read his yards. accolades. Namath is probably best known for his pregame prediction. Oh, well, that's that great. That was 21, yeah. Um, not only did Na Namath's unlikely prediction game come to fruition, he earned a Super Bowl MVP honors in the process for his outstanding performance Namath also is well documented for his flamboyant play playboy lifestyle off the gridiron. That's his accolades. He's flamboyant. That's his accolades. No, he's got more. I think a one in Broadway uh, Joe. His co they call him Broadway Joe here. Yeah. Nah. He sucked. May not have the statistical accomplishments of others. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, get him <laughs> off the list. <laughs> but his legendary stuff. Status. He is legendary status. Yeah, what makes this guy a legend? First of all, can we expose this right now? Because I always hear Joe Namath's name. He's not even top ten. Not a quarterback. Here. No. no. Pat Mahomes is better than. Yeah. Him. I'm saying Pat Mahomes is better than Joe Namath. Seriously. Is that a wild take? Can people? Agree oh no! If Pat Mahomes wins today. He's top ten. He's he's up there. He's getting into that yeah. conversation. Yeah. As much as I hate it, he's in the I don't Super even hate him. I hate his already. brother and I hate his wife. Are you guys done? <laughs> That was a horrible if that pick. Guy, if that guy sucks as bad as you guys say he does, which he doesn't, do you think he ever would have gotten in the Hall of Fame? I'm I'm questioning how he did because yeah. those numbers. Because you don't know, do you don't know. How do you get in the Hall of Fame? You're too young to know. Say so you're starting to compare. Well, get Mahomes. Everybody's playing differently. There's rules that are different about protecting a quarterback. They'll make them last longer. They're out of the pocket. They don't get hit. You play back when he played, or all these other guys. Unitas played, or Bradshaw played, or or Staubach played. Yeah, Staubach, Bradshaw, time. and Unitas also didn't throw almost a hundred more picks than they did interceptions. It's a, it's a different time frame. So you just said they were. In, I just named those no, two no, guys. I have them. I have them too. So why are they? But I mixed it in because I so paid Manning. They belong. Brady, they the belong. Best. They belong in there. Yeah. But Joe Namon doesn't. He has a hundred more picks than he does interceptions. What? But I I never would have argued that That's Tom awful. Brady was not the goat. I question whether or not Tom Brady would have lasted 20-plus seasons 
had he played back in the 60s and 70s. He wouldn't have 100 more picks and interceptions, and you'd probably have a better oh, playoff no, he, record. Well, well, the talent level is different, too. Okay, well, none of the other guys, none of the other quarterbacks from that era did, so I don't know what made him in the Hall of Fame. That's crazy. Sounds like he just had a good character. Great charismatic. college quarterback. <laughs> so it was a, he had a good attitude. <laughs> but he was, uh, he had a good attitude. He, he was very good back good, then. Great locker room guy. Good guy, loves the game. Back in the 60s. <laughs> he, loved the, he loved the game. Back in the 60s um, and 70s, he was very good. But my, my, uh, I have. Five. That has to be exposed. We got to figure out how the hell is that guy in the Hall of Fame? Brett Five star yeah. back in Elway, where my, uh, and then I had a trouble even leaving Steve Young off it, but. All right. Joe, you go. Uh, so I have an honorable mention. Honorable mention. No, I, no, 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 no. You're naming, doing, doing your five first. And all then right. You're supposed to name your five and then go to Joey, but you, Chad, already listed his honorable mentions. Oh. Yeah, that's right. All right. At number five, I got Brett Favre. Yep. At number four, I have John Elway. Wow. At number three. Oh, God. I got Joe Montana. Okay. I got. At two, I got Peyton Manning, and at one, I got obviously Tom Brady. Very. Close we almost have the same exact list. Did you switch Joe Montana and Peyton Manning? I'll say it when I. Uh, right. But so I'm just gonna go into that because then we can talk about our list because we have the same guys. Yeah. Uh, five Brett Favre, four John Elway, three Peyton Manning, two Joe Montana, one Tom Brady. Um, reason I switched is Peyton and Joe Montana is Joe Montana four Super Bowls, three MVPs. And Peyton Manning only has, he's two for four in Super Bowls. But Peyton Manning also has five NFL MVPs. I I was also So that's why he's up there. I was Elway, there. obviously, his Super Bowls, his touchdowns. I think John Elway deserves to be on there, uh, mainly because he was a quarterback kind of like ahead of his time. Like he has three thousand rushing yards. Mm-hmm. Quarterbacks did not really have that back then. So I think we he was kind of like same exa- we had pretty much the same exact list because I was also debating between Peyton Manning and Joe Montana and Brett Favre. I mean, he three P MVP like he speaks for itself. He's he won a Super Bowl, seventy one thousand passing yards, regardless of what he has going on right now. He's kind of a dirtbag, but I don't I don't like just saying if they won a Super Bowl they get more credit because they don't win it. There's fucking twenty two players that play in. The I'm game. talking their their Offense Super Bowls, defense, their passing yards, teams. their They're their touchdown team. to interception no, ratio. <laughs> That's what makes a quarterback. No, what I get. It. I'm just talking about when I people just, talk no, I listed about off everything. Though. People list right. even awards and tops, and they go well because they won a Super Bowl. You know, we're gonna have a guest on who didn't win a Super Bowl, right? And, and but he's his, one of the best. But his position doesn't go based off numbers. Right, quarterback does. People are gonna look who's the best quarterback. It goes by stats. It goes by okay touchdown to interception ratio. That's one of the things I have. Yardage. That's there. QBR rating. That's that's there too. Uh, and then it goes into the last that I look at is okay if they have similar numbers. Okay, who who won the big game? Who when did it? Who won when it mattered? And all these guys did. Mm-hmm. So and uh, number six, my honorable mention is Drew Brees. I did too. Drew Brees, honorable mention. Yep, he's he's he. Have, you know he has exactly he has an so MVP. You guys, you guys did not have his touchdown. Did you say you had Steve Young or no? Nope, no. Drew nope. Brees has five hundred seventy. Drew Brees has five hundred seventy-one touchdowns and two hundred forty-three interceptions. That's a crazy. Uh, no, ratio. Roger Staubach. No, I mean they're all top ten. Those are top ten. And Bart Starr. No. Okay. Not even. I uh, wasn't even a thought. Yeah. <laughs> and no, Johnny Unitas. Close. He no. was a seven. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, thinking about putting let's put it this way: we get rid of the top five, we go to the top three. We all have the same three, mm-hmm. so there's no there's, there's no really argument about that, and there should not be we an the argument. Exact same three. There should not be an argument for the for the greatest of all time. Never. And there are people still. Now that I that. looked into this list, it's like when you look into the top, <clears throat> go online, type in top ten, top ten, top ten. Mm-hmm. Look at everyone's numbers. It's not even fucking close. No, I know. Yeah, but people still try to make it up. Tom Brady, he's got the NFL, uh, four Super Bowl MVPs. Yeah. Crazy. He was the NFL MVP three times. 35 and 13 playoff record. 649 touchdowns to 212 interceptions in seven oh. Super Bowls. It's not even close. 647 Crazy. touchdowns. Crazy. All right, well, listen, we are... Uh, One com- last thing. Yeah. Uh, we can finally announce March 25th, CES Pro-Am. Um, we will have Coach on with myself. Um, 
Axel Lopez and Joey Souza will be fighting on the amateur portion of that card. Um, so March 25th? We, yep, March 25th at Cranston Theater. Brand new venue. It's going to be amazing. Um, it's going to be packed. Um, but we got to sell the tickets. So there will be, you know, we'll put up the poster when Coach and uh, Joey Souza and Axel are on. Try and promote that a little bit, but it's going to be a good night. Um, really, really, really big um, fights for all three of us that we all kind of need these fights. So, okay, I'm excited to you go there. Was that your shout out or was that just another? Yeah, I was trying to like end this. So. Uh, yeah, I thought we were going into shout outs and ending it. We were okay, so that was it. So, you're going to give the information to Joey also so he can post it. We're going to get the posters done. Have, uh, CES, yeah. they're going to make posters for us. Yeah. So we're going to put those on. And Joey's going to put those on. And all information will be available yep. soon. Yep. yep. And we'll probably do it the night you guys come on. Yeah. We, Coach Aaron and the rest of them. And then we get uh, Tony coming up March 18th. Next Quite week. Shout out to Tony. Defending that title. Yeah, we're going uh, we're I'm going pissed down. I'm going to be away, but. <laughs> we're going down Friday. I'm not that pissed because I'm going on a cruise. February 18th. It's next February week. February 18th, sorry. So we're going down Friday yeah. for weigh-ins and. Uh, yeah. No, that's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Are you taking him? You still need to get your ticket. I'm going down Friday. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. I well, mean, you can come with us, yeah. I got uh, no shout-outs, so just subscribe, like, uh, and share. That's and feel free to comment because it helps us too. Yeah, we need yeah, comments. You know, help. If we whether hear... it's good or bad, if you want to tell me I have a booger in my nose or something, just say, <laughs> comment, say, say whatever. Yeah, I mean, talk some shit. Just not like bullshit I'll talk shit stuff. back. Talk some shit. I'll talk yeah, some back. Whatever. Just fun. leave some comments. It helps us even get better and better and better and make this show even more successful. Uh, yeah, talk some so shit. I want help. to see how stupid you all are. So. <laughs> That's, That's about it, folks. It's episode 11, Punch Drunk Podcast. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly.